suggestions from a working group on how to deal with the prescription drug problem in the province. Today, the group's nine key recommendations were made public. The health minister says at least two of them are a definite go, but the others haven't been decided on, and that has some worried whether they'll be forgotten. Global's Nicole Weisberg has more. It's a report concerned citizens in Nova Scotia's Annapolis Valley have been waiting for. Recommendations from a working group created specifically in response to a number of prescription drug-related deaths in the Valley. As the report indicated, this is a, a very complex issue. Um, and uh, the committee felt that it really required a comprehensive solution. Along with the Annapolis Valley's Mental Health and Addiction Services Director, members of law enforcement and several people from the medical community were involved. They came up with nine recommendations, including improving dialogue between different departments and community groups, extending access to the province's prescription monitoring program, and creating a comprehensive opiate treatment program. Maureen McDonald has already promised to make the prescription monitoring program 24-7. I think the physicians will be very happy with that because it will help them better address the patient and the patient's needs uh, and know that they're prescribing medications that isn't going to be diverted. McDonald, who is currently on vacation, also vowed an awareness campaign will be rolled out this fall. But she's still waiting on the other recommendations, and that isn't going over well with critics. The recommendations uh, here... Uh, again, are, uh, are sounding reasonably good on paper. However, we must uh, recognize that uh, there are no timelines. Uh, there are no exact specifics for the uh, number of the areas and no financial uh, commitment. Amy Graves has been looking for action since she lost her brother to a combination of pills and alcohol. Nothing has actually changed on the ground right now. That's that's my problem. Officials at the Department of Health say they will have a better idea on what other recommendations to adopt after they release their mental health strategy this October. Nicole Weisberg, Global News, Halifax.